So in the next minutes we want to talk about the smooth muscle basics. Um, you will find the smooth muscle in every hollow organ. And uh, it's important to know that the smooth muscle are not under conscious control. So you can't tell the muscle to work. It works and is influenced by hormones and its form is like um, it's small and shaped uh, it's spindle cell shaped it has a width of 10 micrometers and a length of 100 micrometers and it has one nucleus per cell as I said you can't control it it is regulated by the autonomic nervous system this is a big difference in combination to the skeletal muscle. So let's talk about the anatomy of the smooth muscle. Smooth muscles are found in the walls of all hollow organs. Not in the heart, but every other hollow organ. As example, the gastrointestinal tract and in the skin where the smooth muscles are responsible for hair erection in response to cold or excitement and the sebaceous gland secretion. You will also find the smooth muscle in the eye where the smooth muscle is involved in the, in the process of the regulation of the pupil size. Like when you, have, when you get more light in your pupil, your pupil will get smaller and if the pupil will need more light to see more, the pupil size will be wider. So also the smooth muscle um, form intrinsic networks due to the presence of specialized intercellular connections called gap junction, junctions. So these muscle cells are connected and the gap junctions facilitate direct electrical communication where ions and electrical signals can pass between cells coordinating their contractions. This is so important that they can coordinate the contraction and work as an entire unit and as a synchronized unit. And these principles of coordinating and synchronization is vital for the smooth functioning of various physiological, physiological processes such as digestion and blood flow regulation. So they are also responsible for these principles of working on the body.